So today, I'm going to be taking a look at the 2007 Chevy Impala. Now the thing is about this car, you'll notice you thought it was probably a Monte Carlo, but it's a four-door. The Monte Carlo was basically the same thing as this car, same parts, but just a different body style. Uh, considering that it was a two-door instead of a four-door like this car. So, you have your coolant there, engine, 211 horsepower, 3.5 liter V6, which is powerful enough. I believe this is uh, either brake fluid transmission, I'm not too sure. Either way, all your connectors are right there. Here's your engine cover. Uh, air filter is easy to change out, actually I've done it myself. I can tell you for a fact it's easy to do. And then you have your headlights here, pretty easy to replace if needed. If need be, I think all you gotta do is just pop this out, pop that, and pops right out basically. Very easy. So, I'm gonna be taking my 2007 Impala on a wonderful little test drive and going on a little journey. So, here we go. So, once we get in, you're greeted with an interesting factor of not having uh, split bucket seats. Uh, the, the, like what I'm trying to say is the gearbox, the gear shifter, is not in the middle. Uh, more or less, it's. Let's so get these out of here and attempt to close this. See, uh, you actually have plenty of space to seat, and well, not really comfortably technically, but you can seat somebody there if need be. You can sit three people up front, which makes this car very unique. Another thing, the gear, the gear shifter is on the steering column, so obviously not the best gear boxes in the world, but uh, you do get two power outlets down there and one in the back seat. These are kind of iffy though. They've been that way ever since I got the car, so... Hmm, it sounds like it's trying to sputter. I don't know if that battery's going or what, but uh, it's like another bit of uh, money to be dished out on this car. So, without further ado, we're going to put her in reverse. Set the camera. Or in reverse, yes, I do have my license. I know how to drive. Never really done this holding a camera, but there's your GM radio there. Got a nice sunroof in here, too. If need be, you can open it up, but it's kind of suckish weather right now. We're gonna take it on a little stroll down the road, throw her in drive, and we will go ahead and test out what all it can do. Now this car is uh, has a quite a few miles. It had about 116,000 uh, on the car originally. It's just had an oil change not too long ago and that sunroof sounds like it is rattling. So something's obviously loose there. It has a good amount of pickup in the engine but whatever the case um Steering wheel feels real nice and meaty, which I really do like. It feels better stop, buddy. It's my turn. Take a right here. So there's the baseball field over there. So you'll notice I'm already hitting 30 miles per hour. Pretty. This car has really good momentum and pickup. Just what I really do like about the car, a lot. Uh, shocks could be a little better. Transmission could be a little better. Like I said, transmission likes to slip a good bit, so that's one small problem with this car. But otherwise, the car is great. It gets about uh, 30 miles per gallon on the on the highway, and it struggles to get it, but it does get 30 miles per gallon now. Uh, one way, we'll just. I don't think any cops will be around, so they don't mind. I think that's for buses anyways. I don't think police mind at all. And this is a good street to kind of test out. See, it's kind of slipping right now. And the tire pressure monitoring system's bad, so... 
we'll just take it on a short test drive here today. I'll put it out on the highway one of these days and let you guys see really how this thing can go. Uh, there's a black charger. I gotta pull up here so I can see. No one's coming. So we can go ahead and turn. Has really bad torque steering for uh, front wheel. I mean, really bad. I've picked up on that real easily. Yes, I need to get gas. Shut up. But see, I'm already hitting 40, and I haven't been going very long, and hopefully there are no police around, because they love to, and I'm going way over the speed limit, so I better slow down. I usually like to go 40 down this road. That's the first time I've ever seen a speed limit sign. I'm usually hitting 40 on this road. It's got a good sounding engine, though, which I'm very well impressed with. And he sits you up to really well. There are no annoying hood scoops to uh, cause any problems with uh, any, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, your view. No way it can really obstruct your view, your vision with these with those annoying hood scoops. I, I'm sorry, I don't like hood scoops on cars, especially cars that are not meant to be sporty. As this car is really meant to be a um, more or less a uh, family car, rental car, but uh, they do make an SS model in this uh, generation of the Impala. I don't know about the new 2014 ones, but on these generations, they make uh, oh god, they make the uh, SS. So like I said, very roomy car to say the least. I get plenty of leg room and my seat's not all the way back like most cars. I've had to scoot my seat all the way back, but see if I scoot it way back, I can just barely reach the pedals like as you can see there. So you get many, uh, automatic seats, but they're not memory seats. You only get that in the LTZ. Automatic headlights though, which I do like that. Uh, you have your windows here, roll down automatically obviously. Auto for down, but they're power all four ways. But on the driver's side, it's complete automa automatic. Forgot to demonstrate this, so why not? Slides back just like so, tilts and slides. Uh, build quality of the car is just okay. Uh, I, I, I have reasons to believe that there are some cheap engineering design flaws in this car, Prefer prefer bleh, preferably the uh hard plastic on the instrument panel and the gauge cluster this is there's no soft I mean it's kind of soft touch but I don't know if that's just the plastic bending don't want to figure that out the hard way that I broke something uh, glove box over here you just got a lot of we got our title information and stuff you get a nice big meaty steering wheel like I said it's these spokes it's good for uh, Six and three, ten and two, or if you just want to drive like the, the stereotypical idiot, one hand on the steering wheel like I was doing. Uh, nice Chevy logo there. It's kind of rubbing off probably over time. You don't get radio controls on the side. I think that came on later models of the of this of this generation, but uh, otherwise this car is a pretty decent one. You don't get the Bose Premium package. We didn't. It didn't come custom ordered. Like I said, this is just the basic, as base model as it gets. And you have your climate control system there. Dual zone climate, not a big fan of that. But, uh, I mean, it'll work. It gets the job done, and it works really well. Freeze your butt out of the car, burn your butt out of the car if you if you have the heat on. But we'll go ahead and lock it now. And I guess that'll be it. So, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Alright, I'm James Brock, signing off.